Don't be a flake, don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid, don't be ashamed, don't hesitate to say, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe, hey, babe. But, but it was Saturday night, I, I guess that makes it all right. And you say, what have I got to lose? And, and honey, honey, I say, little red, hey, babe. Uh, baby, you're much too fast. Oh, 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 little red, hey, babe, you need a love that's gonna last. Hey, babe. Hi. We hey. both wore purple without texting each other. Look at that. Purple, nurple. Purple rain. Yeah, pur oh, my God. Wow. Look at wait, that. Wait a minute. Did you suggest this song because I was wearing this shirt? It must have been subliminal. <laughs> I didn't even know until this... You, oh, wow. I didn't even realize you, you said Prince. You look up to me. You said, what about Little Red Corvette? And I said, oh, Little Red, hey, babe. Wow. But you you did not know I was wearing this. I swear to God, I didn't. Wow. See, that's that's what's, that's what's interesting about the human mind is we don't we don't even realize yeah. that. And I just sang that. I forgot, I forgot that I was wearing this because shirt. Because you know what I've heard? I've, I, I've, people are talking about this now. People are talking. talking no, that's not a song. You don't oh. know. Do you, a lot of times you don't know what I'm singing. A lot of times. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't know much about music. Nobody knows this. And I don't know much about comedy. Either. Don't know much about uh, history. Theory. Don't know don't much, much biography. biography. You know who this is? I've, I, I, I but I do know that I love you. And if you say that you love me too, what a wonderful world. world this It's Sam Cooke. I don't even know who Sam Cook is. Before what I said, people are not talking. What song do you think that is? I I honestly thought you were singing. Let's give them something to talk I am. about. I was. Oh, that is. Yeah. Okay. Good. You Shania know. Twain. Oh, I don't know who it is. Bonnie Raitt. Reba McIntyre. Yeah. Faith Hill. Chris Stapleton. <laughs> um, what's the kid? Oliver. Who's the kid? He blew up. I don't. You mean Oliver Tree? What is it? Oliver Anthony. Who's that? I like. I'm an Oliver Tree stand. So, so I, I know Oliver Anthony. I didn't know. Uh, he's a kid I'm seeing everywhere. Um, Joe Rogan played his song, and it's got a song. Uh, oh, north of yeah, yeah, yeah. Rich I saw man north of Richmond. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So he's. Uh, I went on. It, it was. It was like. Uh, I just started seeing him everywhere. I, I, I'm going to listen to the song too. I've heard it's a great song. I cut Richmond, you off. Richmond, capital of Virginia. I cut you off earlier. You were you making a sentiment. Okay, so what I wanted to say was. As Marcus Aurelius said, as we spoke about, as we always speak about, the Stoics, he said, never be overheard complaining, not even to yourself. And I think about that every day. Do not complain. But today, my friend, I got to complain. Today, Marcus Aurelius is erased from the books. Listen, Marcus Aurelius, here's the thing. I like what you teach, but you're dead, so sh shut, shut, shut up. Okay? You're dead. Shut up. I am tired. I'm irritable. Mm -hmm. I, and I want to preemptively apologize Mm -hmm. For first of all, I walked in here. Eric Andre was walking out. Going to be a great episode on Taste Buds. Eric Andre, kind kid, never even really met him. I I I I looked at him. He said something to me. I was just in such a mood that I just gave no expression. I I I feel terrible because I was like, why did I? He's such a nice man that he's that smells, you know, okay. And I was like, I was like, why why did I? Do that. And then I said, you know what, Chris? I said, you got to take a minute. I said, I made a decision when I walked in the studio. I said, I'm just going to tell my Hey Babe family that I'm upset and purge it and I'll feel better. And it worked. Okay. So far, it's worked. Okay. At any moment, if it stops working, just lean forward and push this button. Okay? Where is it? I was, I was looking for it the other day. Right here. It's at the end, uh, back of a foot. And then we'll know got that we got to get you out of that hole. Got it. Okay. I was in at Albany this weekend. She came on stage. She Did said, she? Yeah, she said you saw her at the end. Yeah, 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 Was she with her family, too? She was her, with her a, daughter friend, and a friend. Her, no, her just a friend, yeah. Uh, uh, Son-in-law. So so the reason why I'm in a bad mood. Something that happened to you, it's like things you would find almost maybe in like a fairy tale. Yes, yes. So right? I, 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 I just landed this morning at 6 a.m. on a red-eye flight from San Diego. Mm -hmm. I was in San Diego, and I, and I got to San Diego Yesterday, I landed in San Diego at midnight. I had a show in San Diego at 1 p.m. And then I flew home. What? 1 p.m.? At 1 p.m., I performed for the U.S. Navy. Oh, oh I forgot. That's yes. right. Okay. Oh, oh, and I want to talk about okay. how the U.S. Navy and how great and salute. So, like, you but, did, well, there was a lot of like that? Yeah. But I, I, so I, I take the, so I was in San Diego for less than 24 hours mm -hmm. and cross country flight and I, Fly home, couldn't sleep a second. I said, well, as soon as I get home, I'll sleep. Oh, I know. Come home, trees on the house. Tree fell over onto the house. 
uh, Violet, my the baby daughter, sick, hand, foot, mouth disease. My other daughter dropped a drawer, broke potentially has a broken big toe. Um, uh, then the insurance adjusters and people coming to the house. So I, I haven't slept at all. And then and now it's one of those things where I've been trying to Oof, do my uh, deep breathing. I'm trying to do my deep breathing. I actually, truthfully, I contemplated pulling over off the BQE and masturbating just to get some of the. I understand. Just to de-stress a I little understand. bit. You want to just be put somewhere. I just want to do. I had a yogurt from a nice Danish bakery across the street. I said Danish people are kind people. They're they're you know civilized. They they don't like to argue. Maybe a little Danish yogurt in my body will help. So far, nothing's helping, but. Purging it and just getting it out. Get so it off that, your chest. that was my motivation to just start complaining. Okay. I don't want to be a Debbie Down no, syndrome. No, no, no. Don't worry about that. Don't right. worry. That's what we're here for. All I'm right. your sounding board. I'll be your therapist. Yeah, you. I can. I can kind of. I can whip you a little bit. Yeah. Verbally. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I. I can't do that though. That no. would always make me feel worse. Some people like to. Sound I didn't off. say I'm your whipping boy. I said I'm your sounding board. Like oh, I'm I here to you listen and let you vent. Sound off on you. Oh, sound off to me. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, I misunderstood. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to do that. Yeah, but if, who would want but honestly, some people, some people if do you do need that. that, I'm here for you. That's what I appreciate about you. I mean, DeRosa would have done it in a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. DeRosa does it. I think DeRosa does that even when there's he's had you know, a full, full night's sleep. He, he does it without good. asking on the top of his game. He does yeah. it. He just comes in and just does it. Yeah, he call, he's, on a, he's on another road trip. He's on a road trip to DeRosa's one of those guys that acts like he's divorced when he has no kids. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, he sounds like a downtrodden dad of many kids in a long marriage. Like sometimes when he's going into his rants, he, you know, when we were just talking on the phone, I'm like, he's going to start shitting on his wife and kids. And I'm like, I forgot he's single. <laughs> <laughs> and it's always like, oh man, he, he must have a tough life at home with the wife or kids. I'm stressing. No, that man's a free man with free will. Yeah. That is a bachelor that does whatever he wants whenever he whatever. wants yeah. and is doing the career that he wants. Babe, you never know. Let it. me let me tell you. So I did a gig for the U.S. Navy. Okay. okay? Let me tell you about 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 these people. First, these are the guys in the water. In they the deal with the water. In the water, and these are the guys from San Diego. When shit hits the fan, mm. like these people that I was performing for, they are the first way. They go to war. That aircraft carrier I was on, that's the one that goes. The USS, Link, I think it's the U.S. Lincoln, U.S.S. Lincoln, something Lincoln. But that goes South China Sea, Middle East. Those are that. These are the actual guys. You know, it's yeah. just not like these. No. These, these are battle. These are kids. Because sometimes, like you know, we got by us Fort Hamilton, Fort Wadsworth. It's great. Yeah. Respect those soldiers. But those guys, I don't know that are necessarily going to war immediately. Yeah, I don't think so. San Diego, they're going to war. They're ready to be deployed. They're ready. They're Navy SEALs. Like they're ready. So the gig was. <sighs> Okay, so comedy, the, the 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 things that are hard with comedy are trying to stay clean when you're not a clean comic. Yes. Doing shows outside in outside. the middle of the day. Yeah. Daytime outside. Yeah. And and not talking about sex. Those are three very hard things for a comedian to do, even if you're in an enclosed area. This show, no, can't curse, can't talk about sex, can't talk about the government. Show is outside, twelve o'clock, high noon, ninety degrees, four thousand people. Standing, right? Standing only. Yeah. Standing, and they're standing, walking. There's taco trucks surrounding the stage. Yeah. So, yeah. and they say, yeah. Well, I had asked you why even take the gig, and I think that it's like, let me do it, let me get the experience. Maybe you get material out of right. it. Right. I said, let me do it. Let me, let me, let me get material out of it. Let me just, I'll feel like a better person. I'll feel like a better comic after I go up there. Okay. You know, they introduced me. You know, they had a DJ. The people, by the way, the person, the group before me, they were called Steel and Wool, country band. Everybody was loving it. They were line dancing. They were having- You, got, the, you went on after a band. I went on after a band. Not before. They were having the best time. Steel and Wool was crushing it. They were having the best time. They abruptly stop and say, now it's time for the comedian, me at 12 o'clock. People, of course, rightfully so, start screaming, no, no, I want the music. Mm. Which, I mean, these kids are, you know, right. they're kids. Like, right. they- they just some of them some of them just got back from tours in overseas like a week ago. Right. They're like, I want I want to dance and and make like just get. They, they want country music and they want to dance. Yes. They don't want to be told about what it's like to date a Puerto Rican. Exactly. No. Right, right. No. No. <laughs> well, because it's, most of our military, especially in San Diego, are Mexican, so I change all those jokes to Mexican. Okay. Very um, nice. <laughs> but 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 I literally I swear to God I'm up there staying in my content restrictions. I'm eight minutes and 50 seconds into the show. Microphone goes out. Of no, course. no microphone. Yes. No microphone. Yes. No microphone. You are a, a wireless? I had a wireless. Uh, no, I had a wired mic. It went out. Went out. I, and then so now I'm like, and they're like, we backup can't hear mic, you. Backup mic, backup mic, no? They give me the backup mic, wireless mic. 
wasn't charged. So, or no batteries. Also didn't work. The speaker, so what happened was the entire audio system was out because they had a generator that was running the, the, the electricity to the, the power to the stage. Yeah. It, it ran out of gas. So I'm trying to get through it, like, whatever, and then finally a guy comes up onto stage in the middle of my performance and says, we have, it's, it's, a, it's not going to work. So I now say, I have two options right now. I can either But walk, they got to pay you? Because this is a thing where it's not up to me. It's, I, you know, you have to Force have, majeure. Yes. So I could walk off after 10 minutes and get paid in full and leave and kind of, like, skate feel, out of it. feel like a piece of shit. Yeah. feel like a piece of shit. I said, I'm going to have to scream my set and no, I oh my god no, I no, put no, the no, microphone no, no, around no, no. my neck like a chain like that and I start screaming my set and I said you know what I said to them I then I just was honest I said listen I said listen they told me I can't curse I can't talk about sex I can't talk about the government I said but you know what should have went off sh shits went off the rails and I just in my head said just let one rip I said you know what guys you know cuz I was like get, trying to feel it out I said you know what guys you know, it's interesting to me. This generator just ran out of uh, uh, the gen. They don't have enough money to put gas in the generator, but they got enough money to send to Ukraine. And they start going, wow, no. <laughs> 4,000 people. <laughs> oh, Biden. No, no. <laughs> yes. No, the entire Navy? Listen. There was no like half and half. <laughs> yeah, no, bro. <laughs> the, well, I mean, some of the people. They literally, <laughs> literally, I said, and then they went crazy. And then I said, Do you guys mind if I curse? And they were like, Do it! And started going crazy. And then I just said, Look at you with your wild mustache. Start exploding. No. By the end of the show, no. I swear to God, by the end of the show, I had about 20 sailors in the front row with their shirts off doing push ups, going crazy like i whipped them up like too much no where they the the lady who ran the show was like you know like wrap it up wrap it up these guys they're going to start taking their service weapons out like <laughs> <laughs> how long did you do another 40 minutes no yeah with no mic screaming like, how, how, how i was just yelling i was like in there like i, I did things like i was like played games with them push-up contests yeah, that, you, gotta, that, you yeah. know like Whatever you gotta, yeah, yeah. Did all I did the best I could. Material's not gonna yeah, work with no. Uh, eventually, the crowd started even in the middle of my set. They couldn't hear me, so they yeah. started dispersing. But I still had like maybe a hundred. But so, you or, did but, what you needed to do, and then some in the conditions. Yeah, you the, and and what the one thing I realized though is number one, performing for these kids, like they're kids. Like I, yeah. I, I know, like people that talk crap about the military. We have our right in the country, but I really you should go. Go be with the military because yeah, yeah. you'll think twice about shitting on our troops when ooh, you ooh. see that they're genuinely children, like yeah. 18, 19 year old kids that have already done six months That's unbelievable. in the yeah. Middle East. Some of them have like killed, been, you know, killed people. Yeah, Their friends have died and, Wild like, and they're age, just yeah. in the military because yeah. they have to get through school. Yeah. You know, they, they have reasons why they have to be and they're the nicest kids and so thankful and appreciative for yeah. entertainment because and it literally this event was for their morale. It was for the morale of the troops. That's what it was for. Well, there you go. You're yeah. like and and so like whipping them up, and then I just and then I and then I just started saying because again they said don't don't rile them up and don't talk about the government, and I didn't talk about our government, but I just said you know what, man, you know who I think can suck it, China, and they were like, no, no, yeah, no. yeah, because like. So so in the military's mind, like that's the, these are the en potential enemies, you know. Right, right, right. I don't have, I don't know anything about the politics of it, right. but they were, they, they, I, they, and, and I thought because I said I'm going to get paid either way. Because, are you? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because, yeah. Right, because I didn't know if you looked at the people who booked you and they were like, and you had any? No. Did you, did you have any reservation moment that if you went there that they would be like, hey, dude, you said you wouldn't do that? Here's what actually happened. Okay. Here's what truthfully, really, I'm, I'm not even kidding. What happened is I said. What's more important than the money, whether I get paid or not, I believe I'll get paid, but if I don't, because I had to do a meet and greet before the show to meet these kids. I was like, I want to perform for it. Like they right. knew who I, they, all they do is listen to podcasts right. because they're on the ship. They, that, that aircraft carrier just came back from the South China Sea. So they, it takes three weeks to get there and then three weeks back and right. there's no service. So they're just listening to podcasts. So yeah. I was like, just perform for them. Like they were excited. They were like, Happy, you know. Yeah, it was like awesome. You had, you had to curse. I, ha I, <laughs> I literally, I got, I, I, I got some advice from a guy I know in the military. He was like, "Look, I've been to these shows where sometimes the comics stay within the guidelines. It always sucks." He was like, "We all like are in potentially going to war, so like 
we we can handle curses. We want to curse. Right. We want to. We want to be. T- we want. They're sailors. Yes, <laughs> literally cursing like <laughs> sailors. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. insane that that was in the contract. Yeah, like no cussing around the sailors. Then I said, I said to them, I said, they yeah. are the only ones allowed. Yeah. I said, I said, there was this one kid. I said, I said, I'm gonna be. Look, you got anybody ever have sex on the boat? I said, it's beautiful men, beautiful women. And they said, no, we can't do it. You know, whatever. And then like a second went by, one kid was like, I did it. No, yeah, he goes, I did it. And then everyone went nuts. Uh, yeah, they were like, ah! One guy was like, I knew you did it. He was like, we were out to sea and I did it. I caught a blowjob, I did it. <laughs> From another sailor? Yeah, a g- female. Like right. A, yeah. But that, but but then uh, that, but not the, the girl was like, me too. I did <laughs> it. I did it. No. Yeah. He just outed it. He said it, but he didn't yeah, call then me. Then one kid tells me, one kid goes, he was like the only one of the only ones not dressed in uniform. I said, why are you not in uniform? He said, mental health. I said, oh, you've taken a leave? He goes, yeah. I said, then why are you on the naval base? He was like, I don't have anywhere anywhere else to go. I was like, but didn't you take a leave from the Navy? I was like, why did you take a leave from the Navy? He's like, I saw an alien. I saw a spaceship, an alien spaceship, and it freaked me out. I said, where'd you see the alien spaceship? He was like, over San Diego. I was like, are you are you on drugs? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And but he was fine. It was like they didn't care that you were ribbing him or anything. No, no, no. He, and he, he was, was on a mental health. Leave. He was being genuine. He was yeah. sitting there with a. In, it's a ninety degrees. He had a black hooded sweatshirt. On just sitting there, just like looking at me the whole time, like you could tell he's like something's wrong with him. I was like, you, you're like a front line kid. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's you picked out. And then the Navy SEALs, man, like seeing somebody in the Navy SEALs, like they're just like, like machines. Like it's like seeing like a machine with a heartbeat. I went know? to school with someone who became a Navy SEAL. Really? Yeah. And they got to, they probably went through, they have to they, go through the San Diego thing. Yeah, they went to, they were Navy SEAL. Yeah. You know, one time I remember we were out, we were out and we were the large group and they, he got drunk. And got on a car and stomped the front windshield. Out. Oh yeah, I believe it. Of course, you know this podcast sponsored by Better, Better Help. Help, there it is, folks. Better Help. We both use it. Um, listen, life at times can be tough when you're dealing with decisions around career, relationships, or anything else. Therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life, so you can move forward with confidence and excitement. We talked about it on this week's podcast. As a matter of fact, one of the leading causes of stress in people are not being able to make decisions. Yes, and when you're going down. And you want to make sure you're going down the right path in life. Making the right decisions is part of that. I'm going down. Nice. Because better help ain't around. And my whole world's world's upside down. down. Trusting yourself to make decisions that align with your values like anything. The more you practice it, the easier it gets. Okay? So whether you're dealing with decisions around career relationships, like you said, Give BetterHelp a try if you're thinking of starting ther- therapy. It's entirely it online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire to get matched with a licensed therapist and then switch therapists anytime for no additional charge. Go to BetterHelp.com slash HeyBabe today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash HeyBabe. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Now, let me see your box. Oh, you talking about my butcher box? I'm Hell sure, yeah, right? yo, I, yo, you wearing them? You wearing them short shorts? I can see that butcher box. Nice. <laughs> butcher box. Uh, can you scroll up to the top for a second? What's your favorite cut from butcher box? Uh, do you want to know for real? Seriously, I swear to God, I really want to know. Pork chop, pork chop. Had it three nights ago from butcher box. Stupendous. Stupendous is a word that needs to be used more religiously, and I'm very happy that you just use that word. Absolutely. And it is the word that describes Butcher Box the best. Is the meat is stupendous. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's cheaper than the grocery store. Yeah. And you won't see these deals anywhere else. And everything is high quality meat and seafood you could trust, like grass fed beef, free range organic chicken, pork raised, crate free, yeah. and wild caught seafood. It's delivered right to your doorstep. Yeah. It's always free shipping. Yeah. Okay. And of course, they are giving us a deal. Our listeners a deal. 100%. Butcher Box got higher quality meat than Magic Mike. Right now, all you got to do is go to butcherbox.com slash hey babe and use the code hey babe to get salmon for three months. You're going to get three months Ooh. of salmon plus $20 off your first order. I mean, literally sign me up for three months of salmon. Butcherbox.com slash hey babe. Use that code hey babe to claim the deal. I mean, three months of salmon. You're going to be swimming in salmon. Um, amazing. Yeah. Well, Listen, if you ever get an op- the opportunity to perform, I want to perform for the military more. Yeah. Because, like, I feel like it feels that's good. Because, right? honest, like, I'm, I'll, you know, speak for myself. I would assume we're both the same, but I'm too much of a pussy to ever be in the military. I can't be in a war. If you gave me a gun, I think the first thing I might do is shoot myself. Right. I don't know what to do. So I figured the only way that I can helpfully contribute is boost their morale and make them laugh and keep them loose. But they don't hold guns. They, they have water guns, right? Because they're in the Navy, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, have, the whole thing. Yeah, the, the whole ammunition thing. is all water Oh, no, the whole front row, they were in swimmies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
When you so, ever go on an aircraft carrier? You ever? I have. I've been on that one. You've been on the yeah, on the Lincoln. Yeah. So you so you probably did. You did a show? No, I, I was uh, there for Comic Con, and they had a uh, MGMT played a concert on it. Okay, so that same place is where I was. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. So, so, so you saw it. It's like a skyscraper. It's, 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 it, it's like a mile long. Oh yeah, it's it, insane. And they were like, and it's crazy because when these jets land, they can't. They have to land. They, you know, like when you're on a plane and you like slow down, obviously to like you, you know, you'll feel yourself slowing down. They have to hit the thruster because if they miss. Basically, what happens is when they land on the on the aircraft carrier, the aircraft carrier is moving because it creates its own wind, so it needs to be moving. And then there's these four giant hooks yeah. that literally hook on the back of the plane and stop it like a rubber band. Yeah. But you can't be slowing down because if, God forbid, you miss one of the hooks, which happens, you have to have enough energy, enough thrust to be able to take off again and try again. So you have to just gun it oh, and wow. hope that one of those hooks... Hits you, and if not, you gotta take off again. Wow! And he said, you know, we gotta land that, like, you know, like, like it, it, he said it, it was crazy, like during World War II, like guys would have to do that with like enemies firing on them. Right now, no enemy has fired on, on one of those. Uh, wow! I said to, I said, what happens? I said, what would happen if like somebody fired one of these things at? Uh, aircraft carrier, he said, try it. I was like, no, I'm not talking about me. I don't have the weapon rig. I don't have the he weapon He squared rig. up immediately. <laughs> yeah. He's like, he put his hand on a super soaker. <laughs> I, yeah, Go for yours. Yeah, I was like, you know, I, I, don't, I, I have a slingshot. Nothing yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. So, and, and at what rank is Popeye? Popeye, I believe, is... He's got to be at least uh, a captain. He's got to be up there. He's up there. Yeah. Yeah. He wasn't wearing that just for fun, right? He was. He was in the military. Oh yeah. No. Every single guy I walked past had a can of spinach. Yeah. Everybody. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. You talked about politics. You talked about. Uh, you cursed. Yes. You talked about well, what else was it? Religion. Yeah. Did you talk about religion? Yeah. I talked. I yeah. I was like. I was like. Who? So that was it. So the end of the show. How'd you sign up? You like, hey guys, thanks. You know, and you, but you were yelling, screaming. I said, I said, I said, listen, guys. You know, there's like taco trucks over there. I said, go have the taco trucks. I was like, uh, I did like a closing joke, and I just um. I you said, did material or no? You I, never... I I tried to weave in and out of material. Yeah. I said, you guys want to see steel and wool? I said, you guys want to see steel and wool? They come, want to come. They were like, yeah. I was like, the mics don't work. You know. And then uh, I said, generator. Yeah, one more time, like a bit, and they yeah. got a big laugh. And then, and then, how did you feel walking off? Walking off, I felt good because the crowd that was there all came and wanted to take pictures okay. and like meet me. So you felt. Well, I, I did. Felt, I did what I had to I do. felt like it wasn't even necessarily like anything to do with me. It's not like they were like. I'm sure most of them didn't even know who the hell I was, but they were just like so thankful to yeah, like, yeah, like they for, sure. for, for 45 minutes they were like, you know, we're just yeah. Because at any moment those guys can get can go. Right. All of them can go. That's I wild. Think. Imagine living like that. Li I know. Where yeah. and and then you know where the na as you know like it's this entire city, like it's. It's like its own ecosystem. Its, it's own like, ecosystem, yeah. and it's not open to the public. And for miles and miles and miles, like you have to go through like these big naval barricades, and then it's like they have their whole world. Like some guys don't ever leave that That's base. That's wild. Yeah, it was. And then it took me down to the jail. You do not want to go into naval aircraft carrier jail. It is very small, very cramped at the bottom of the ship. If anything ever happened. Like on the that's the first to fill up with water. You're dead in the cell. Now let me ask you a question. That jail is there for enemies. So they said basically what would somebody who would go into jail like that is if somebody in the Navy was like, say, like turned by the enemy and was like found out to be a spy or terrorist activity. They have a jail for turncoats? Yes. They said he said, but the guy who took me around was a great guy. I love this kid. He's a great guy. He um he has he he's got a big bald head. He looks like a huge infant. And um he uh he he actually looks like my daughter. He looks like uh, Popeye. He, yeah, it looks like Popeye. <laughs> and he was saying that in his ten plus years on the ship, they've never had to put someone in that jail. But that's typically what it's used for. They said, now listen, if somebody's like smuggles alcohol on and gets like fucking banged up, drunk or whatever, like I said, they might throw them in there and let them cool it off, oh. cool off. But he said, you know, you can't have any alcohol. That's on the weird. Ship. Okay. But he said, people, you know, people, you can't stop people from going into San Diego. Right. Like, right. Tent. Right. You know? Were you? Uh, were they all playing like Battleship? Like what? What? No, they. Well, it was interesting. Some of them, some of them, they all have army fatigues on. So I'm like, are you guys in the oh. army? Or and then there's all rivalries. Like they say, the Air Force are pussy. The army is gay. Right. But I was like, I thought the Navy was gay because it's seamen. Well, they're all gay now. Right. Yeah. Everyone's allowed to have. It's, Everyone's uh, gay. Yeah. yeah. No. No. Yeah. No. I mean, like every. Wait. What? 
What do you mean? They they feel like certain factions of our military yes. are fully wholly gay. They said they. I was told by them that I believe it was the Air Force or Army was gay, or the Air Force is. Because my thought was because there's F sixteen fighter jets on the the thing, and I was like, don't you need the Air Force to fly those? They're like, no, the Navy flies those. I was like, what? what's the point then of the Air what's Force? What's the Air Force, Force for? And they were like, the Air Force does more stuff on the ground. I was like, but the name's in the air. Right, the Air Force. It, so I was like, I, I was like, so who does the ground force? They were like the Army. I was like, but, but you just said the Ar- Air Force. Was yeah, on the ground. it's confusing to me too. So, I don't know. So they weren't in white thing, white no, outfits. No, no, they were in, they were in battle ready Army. Uh, I actually would maybe feel a little mechanics. let down by that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, but they were really, um, really good kids. And uh, I, I, if you ever get the opportunity to to meet the military, or if you're an entertainment, perform for them. I want to do it again. Yeah, because I've always heard that. Because yeah. it's like you know, it's like doing a college gig, which are hard mm, for comedians. But yeah. these kids are different. Right, they're different. Yeah. They're like not going to be offended. Yeah, they're battle hardened. They're like want to. They actually want to laugh. Yeah, we 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 uh, and every show we uh, invite like uh, most shows we do we try to invite like wounded warriors and stuff for free like to come. Right, we give like the. The, the, the bunch of tickets to come, so I always end up seeing those. Those guys are, 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 are something else too. Yeah, like one, I saw a, one guy recently came up to me, and he had, uh, I guess his arm was, um, you know, he had the uh, what do you call that, like the prosthetic arm? Yeah, but like a fully functioning one. Or whatever. Oh yeah, and and even I think even a leg, I think. And this guy was literally like he had jokes for days. Sure. Like I'm sure he does it like he's he's used to it now and he's come to terms with maybe he uses humor as a coping me- mechanism or he he likes to uh dissing like um what what's the word I'm looking for? When you like to diffuse like any tension that right. people, people might be nervous cuz like they come to him. Yeah. And this guy made like within like 5 minutes he made like 10 like 15 jo- like well-written jokes. Right. Like they had he had him in the arsenal. Right. About his arm and like, and right. I was like, yeah, man. I, I mean, I, I, what I, else you know, are you gonna I'm do? because you want me to laugh, you know. Yeah, what I mean, what what can you do? God bless him. God bless us all. Yeah. Um. And then you got off that. You just got off the ship, and I got off the ship, and yeah. I uh, and they gave me uh, they Did gave you, they gave me a Philly cheesesteak, which was really good. And I said, you know what? I don't want to eat the bread. I want to just try to eat keto. So I ate the I ate it with my I ate it with my um, hands. And then Jasmine sent me a picture. Of the roof damage, and I ate the entire bread. I just <laughs> ate the hoagie. I just ate. I just ate all the bread and cheese and onions, <sighs> and then I just was like. And then I walked around San Diego for about four hours. Um, sat down by the water, uh, and then got on got on the flight. I watched Straight Outta Compton on the flight home. Yeah, that's a good movie. Good movie. I enjoyed Easy. it. Yeah. Um, and then that's uh, uh, that's uh, uh, Ice Cube's son, uh, O'Shea Jackson. Yeah, O'Shea, good yeah. name, O'Shea. Good name. Good name. Yeah. And then I did I was in Montauk, I did mushrooms um all weekend last weekend in Montauk. I went to Gurney's and I was I was shroomed out and I and I and I wrote this and I I remember it cuz I was also drunk, but um that's when I that's when I uh uh posted. You can only control your output, not your outcome. Go out and give it your best. Nothing else matters. I'm on shrooms. I don't know why I said that. I, listen, um but I I said it. Of course you were on shrooms in Montauk at a party spot or wherever you were because you weren't with me. But you leave these walls, right? And you, you just, you just become another man. But although you we shed did, this we, skin, we did have the dinner though. Two weeks ago, we, we did. did. We were we were smoking uh, vape pens. Yes, yes. Uh, and the, but then where that? But, but then now the tree fell through that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> there, there goes that. <laughs> you gave me actually a bar of uh for the. What'd you think for the mushroom? I didn't do it yet, you but I. Yet? But every time I open my fridge, I look at it and I go, "It's got to be like soon, soon." Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's um. I, it, if you it, eat the whole nice bar, you can. Because I was reading the portions on the back, so when you do it, do you eat? Because if you, it's, I think it says if you eat the whole thing, right. it says you can get actually like. It's so over. for me, I th- and, and and I don't know, I'm I'm new to all this, but I was microdosing. I was thinking microdosing right. little by little is, is good, but I would always get kind of like a constant headache. I like the way I feel, I but I, I I didn't right. So but, what I did for this one is I not the bar. A kid who was out there had actual the the caps, yeah. and I took ten of them. So yeah. I said, let me just really do this one big who, dose. Who gave you? Who who made? Who said that ten was a dose? The kid? Google. I googled it. They said if you want to go, if you want to really psychedelic trip were, out, because they all have different potencies, so you can never really like. You got to be real careful with that. Well, well, see, I didn't know that. Did you get to a point though? 
My own, I only did mushrooms twice. Only one time was good. Which, and and uh, it was, but I got all those effects that they say you're supposed to get. Did you get those? I got well, what happened was for me is I didn't see third eye opening. I didn't see things in different colors or anything. I was I was so calm and relaxed. And for some reason, my thoughts and my words, I felt the most articulate I've ever felt in my life. Like words that I read and paragraphs that I read and books that I've been reading that I couldn't that at that moment I couldn't retain were like opened up in my head. Wow, well, you were just on point and scholarly. Yes, yeah. yes, it was weird. Who was so were you, were you talking someone's ear off about about yes. words? Yep, yep. <laughs> and then I said I must have said that. I must have said that. I think I I said that to the kid who gave me the shrooms, and he was like, "Oh, I'm going to write that down." I said, "Well, I'm going to write it down too." Okay, and send and it this, out. Did you perform in Montauk? Or that was so no, fun. No, it was just for my birthday. Okay, yeah, it was my birthday out there, yes. so we went. The kids. It How'd was you nice. Like that we came place? back with hand, foot, mouth disease. How'd you like the place you stayed at? Uh, it was great. It's called um, oh, I, oh, it's called Driftwood. Okay, Driftwood Resorts, and okay. it's I, I always stay there. Okay, I like that. Yeah, cool. I like it. I like Montauk. I like. We went to um, Scarpetta. Oh yeah, in Gurney's. Oh yeah, very good. Great food. Yeah, great food. Um, great food. I had uh, three or four desserts. Um, it's your birthday. It was my birthday. You went, shorty. I went. I I've been deviating from Saturdays for the <laughs> sweets. I've deviated big time from Saturdays or for the sweets for the past two weeks. But now I'm back on. Now your boy back on. Okay. I got to be back on. I know. I know. Because because it 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 just for me I can't. I just like I I sign back into my Instagram. Babe, you know what's the worst thing? A bad razor. And I'm on yes. the road all the time. When I'm on the road and I need to look good, I need to count on that razor to be good. 100%. And uh, years ago, I, I learned about Harry's. Mm -hmm. And now they're a sponsor on the pod. I think it's really cool. I don't know if you got your your uh, razor in the mail with uh, the gel, that, the shaving cream yes. gel. I just used it for the first time this week. Yeah. And I, before that, I was using a different brand. I won't say which. Yeah. Well, yeah. Harry's blew the doors. Yeah. Off of this other brand. Dude, uh, Jasmine actually used it. First time she has had a mustache in nine years. <laughs> <laughs> a smooth shave shouldn't be rough on your wallet. Come on, man. The starter set is 13 bucks. Uh, it's well, it's a $13 value for just 3 bucks at yeah. harrys.com slash hey, babe. It's a five-blade German-engineered razor, and you know they know how to engineer. You know... <laughs> You know it. <laughs> they do. They are the they best do. engineers. Yeah, they, they, they're, they're wonderful automobiles. Number one. The, the handle's weighted, so it feels like you're, you're holding something substantial in your hand. The foaming shave gel is a travel cover. Scheduled delivery for refills oh. as low as two bucks. That's half everybody else, okay? Half. And they got the, creams. They got washes. They got lotions. That's what it is. They made, they're made in their own factory in Germany that stay sharp. Guys who have tried it say their eighth shave is as sharp as their first. Sleek, ergonomic weighted handles that look great in your bathroom and give you precise control with each swipe. Right now, you can get a $13 starter set for just $3 at harrys.com slash heybabe. That's H-A-R-R-Y-S dot com slash heybabe for a $3 starter set. Get your best shave ever this summer with Harry's razors and skincare products. All right. Babe, game time? This app, I've been telling you about this app. I think you've used it. Yeah, too, I love right? Game Time. I mean, game, I'm in full. I'm in full on the Game I don't, Time app. I've actually deleted every other ticketing app off my phone because Game Time is the only one that I use. It's the best. The thing that I love about them, you can get tickets to anything you want: concerts, sporting events, shows. The thing that I love about them the most is the Game Time guarantee. If you find seats, yes. Okay. If you find seats in the same section, okay, and row for less money. Game time credit to 110% of the difference. For me, that's the selling point. It's yeah. like, uh, so no matter what, I'm going to win. You're going to win because absolutely. And the thing that I like about them is uh, I like that you can see an image of your seat. And I also like that once you have it up and set up, it's like two clicks and you're done. Yes. And they send the tickets to your phone. Yep. So I don't know if you got you get virtual tickets. I do a lot. So when Always. you're on that line and you're like shuffling through your emails to look for like the ticket, yeah. it's right on your phone. They do so it. many things right. Yep. Snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use hey, code Hey Babe for twenty dollars off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code HeyBabe for $20 off. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. All right, everybody. Guess what? We added a show in Irvine, California, September 6th. A late show has been added, so go get those tickets. Everything else is sold out. Portland, September 8th is sold out. September 9th, Seattle, we have limited tickets. If you want to see me in Seattle, go get them. 
Radio City, New York City, September 22nd. The show is sold out. We potentially might open up some tickets, but I believe it, it is fully sold out. September 23rd, Theater at Madison Square Garden. That's your shot to come see me in New York City. And then September 30th, Las Vegas at the Cosmo. ChrisDComedy.com for Tiki Wiki's brand new hour of material. This will be my new hour that I'm putting out, so come see it live. Yas. Hey. Don't you dare skip this, okay? This weekend, September 8th, I'm at the Syracuse Funny Bone for the weekend, and then I'm rounding that off in September, going to Bowling Green, Kentucky, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Toledo, Ohio, and there's more dates on and on through December at SalVolcanoComedy.com right now. Syracuse, I'll see you this coming weekend. Also, Sal Volcano official on YouTube. Please subscribe uh, once a week starting in two weeks. I'm going to be giving away a prize every single week to only the people that are subscribed to my YouTube. I'm pulling the winners from there. It could be anything from a prop from the show, free tickets to see me, autographed posters, a set visit, and actually if we get to 500,000 subscribers, I will pull a winner out of those subscribers to go to dinner with me and Joe Gatto. So that's that. Also, if you haven't got it, get shipfacedcruise.com. Come on. The Impractical Joke is an Eric Andre Cruz in January 2024. We're almost sold out. Check that out. Everything's available right now. SavileCanoComedy.com. And we're making tickets a little more affordable because I want to reach all of my audience. So if you, you know, if you're on a budget, check it out. This tickets for you as well. My actual Instagram account for the first time three days ago. I saw how it felt for an hour. Easy. I said, get the off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was nice for an hour to see what was happening, what was going on. I said, ooh, you know. Look at this, you know, see what that's up to, what's that up to, people I haven't seen in a year, Instagram accounts, people you forgot about. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go right back off. Did I tell you, last time I was up, up by Montauk, I went to eat lunch. I was with my lady, uh, her mom, and we were with a couple of people, and um, we, uh, we, we, we ordered lunch, and a uh, sweet girl came up, uh, took our order, and then she walked away, and then like 40 minutes went by. And nobody brought anything. Okay. And the table to our left and to our right were seated after us, finished, paid, and already left. It's like f- maybe even more than 40 minutes. And did you get anything like No, crazy? so we were like, we were like wondering what was going on. But nobody came to us to say anything. And I was like, maybe we should say something, right? Because like, what, what is going on here? And then, so we, got, we hailed someone down. And we're like, hey, we, we, uh, we ordered like a long time ago. Uh, we didn't get anything. It was like a salad, you know? And they were like, oh, let me check. Hold on. They, they went back and they came and, and they said something and it was a lie. I forget what they said, but um, I think they said that like they put it in. It was a problem with the kitchen, but I think they forgot to put it in. Okay. Whatever. So we're like, no problem, you know, and they'll bring it out and they brought it out and then two of the dishes were wrong, right? So we were like, oh, this is lame. And then I didn't see the girl since she took the order, but two other three people came up to the table, right. like the ma- the owner or like another wait- waiter or waitress. And then after we got the food and I said, oh, sorry, this is wrong. They brought out something else. And we were eating. This time it was about an hour. And the girl, the original waitress, comes over and <laughs> she goes, excuse me. And I turn and she's fully crying. She's fully crying. And she's like, I just want to say, I am so sorry. Like, all I want here is for everyone to enjoy themselves and have a good meal. And I just, I, I, I should have said something. And I, what happened? With, and she just starts, I mean, she's, she's has tears coming out. Of her. In a full, and the restaurant is packed. Full restaurant. And I just, we were looking at her like, oh my God, like, we don't even know how to react to this, what to say. And I was like, please, please, like, don't worry about it. It's okay. It's no big deal. Really? I, I thought you, you would have been like, give me my French fries, you crazy <laughs> bitch. <laughs> that's normally, that's the, that's the sal I know. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. so what Not happened? The tears hit my fries because you forgot the and salt. <laughs> um, you, you, no, I was I was literally frozen because it was so uncomfortable, and I felt <laughs> awful. Right, but I didn't. We didn't even complain. We didn't say anything of bad about a cry. No, and she went, and we didn't even. We didn't say anything. We were only nice. But she came over crying, and it was like a shock. And all she did was forget to put your order in. Yeah, but she forgot all, all of them. It was an hour, and then she got it wrong. I, I, I was just like, "Don't worry, don't worry." Sure. And she's like, "No, I'm just." She, and she and, and she described. And we're like, "Please, please, you know, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it." She's like, "I'm sorry, a tree fell on my house, and I couldn't <laughs> sleep on the red eye, and the microphone broke in the navy gear. The sailors won't let me curse." <laughs> um, so. 
So then I said, no problem. And I, I, I said, no problem. And she walked away. And then I had to give like a like hundred percent tip. Oh, of course. You, know? you have to. But it's it was like, yeah. That, but that, so that, but that's like, I mean, listen, like, on one hand, you're like, this girl really cares about a job that's a good employee. But on the other hand, you're like, is she having a mental health break? Do we yeah, need to fire this person? Yeah, or or know. give her leave, you know? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know what that was, but I never had that happen in my entire life. Really? I the only situation I've had that it's nothing like that. We, I was out. It was me, Jazz. I think my father and my step. Maybe my no, my father was there. It was me. It was me, Jazz, and my mom. We there was a um uh we ran out to a restaurant in Long Island City and ordered the food and the way you know it was fine and the waiter came back without like he was in a whatever they were in black shirt black pants came back down street clothes said hey guys want to let you know I quit I, I swear to God he was like I quit your food's coming out but I'm not working for this place anymore and he goes good luck with the food. I swear to God. And he said to him, uh, uh, whoever got like an appetizer, he was like, oh, the ceviche. He goes, the ceviche is terrible. So you guys order it, but it's terrible. <laughs> and then walked away. And then a manager came out and gave us food. He's like, I'm sorry for that. We've been having some problems with him. But, you know, this meal is comped. And I remember we got like a comp. How was the ceviche? Uh, I don't remember, actually, if I. I wonder who's throwing shade or warning you. Right. Yeah. I, you know I would be hesitant to that. You know what's weird to me? It's like pretty big things happen in my life sometimes like that or things that people would be able to recall every detail. Let me see. And sometimes I can't, I don't even remember it happening, but I'll be able to recall minute details on very mundane yeah. days. Yeah. But the big things, like I'll go to see a play and be like, I'm so excited to see this play. I, I've been re heard about this play. Yeah. And then 10 minutes in, I'm like, I saw this play already. <laughs> I was there. Oh, I saw shit. the play. Like uh, that's like yeah. Or like movies. You're yeah, like, movies have it. I, I I've seen it. Yeah. Or like events. I'm like, wait a minute. I, I know what's gonna happen. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Like I saw my I told my dad just the other day. I'm like I'm like dad. It'd be awesome to go to like see a Yankees World Series game together. Just me and you. He goes yeah, man. Like you know what we used to when we were younger. <laughs> and I said no. What do you mean? You you know like me and you will go together. He goes yeah. We we've we've been to them. And I was like oh. So something's happening where I'm not present at all in big moments. I got two for these. For okay. The, okay. First one, and I'm, I don't know if I told you this before, but it was uh, we were at my my lady's like family's house or whatever, and we were talking, and uh, it was at Christmas time or something, and Paul McCartney came up, and I was like, oh my god, Paul McCartney, you know, like who knows how much longer he'll tour or play, you know, like you know, just unbelievable. And my lady goes, yeah, you know, we should try to go see him. And I turned to her and said, what? She said, we should try to go see him. I said, we, we've seen Paul McCartney. She's like, no, we haven't. I go, no, we haven't. I said, we went like four years ago in the th fourth row center. I paid the price of a Kia Sportage to go to it. <laughs> yeah. I said, we have, we have collectible tickets at home. He played for three hours. I cried three times. You were the only person with me sitting next to me. You don't remember seeing Paul McCartney sing every hit he's ever had? She doesn't. She truly she swear like, to God. Oh, I guess I maybe no. She, she goes. I I don't. I go. Uh, she, she was, was like, she drinking that night? No, maybe no, no. And she was just like, I oh okay, I guess, I guess. And I was like, Are you nuts, bro? Like that's a, that was a lot of money. Also, it was a like a core memory. That is a core memory. It's poor. But McCartney I guess not right for her. Place. It's crazy how it's like it didn't matter to her. I was like, What do you mean see him? Right. I was like, I have. A, I pulled out when we got home the collector tickets. I was like, We went. And then did she recall or she didn't? she she did she was like, Oh okay. Well, I would have been like, so. do you have a tumor? What is yeah, going I know, on? I don't know. It's not a tumor. I didn't. Another thing I forgot completely, you said you forgot big things. This is a big thing in my life. I forgot all about it. Uh, I recently got a bunch of old cassette tapes digitized. Like, you know those Super 8 tapes? Yeah. Like in the, in the camcorders and stuff? Yeah. And I got a bunch of those digitized so, you know, I could save them for life. And one of the things I sent to this guy to digitize was, I don't know if you remember this, but when we were little, there was a Fisher Price video camera. Yes, It was called remember. like the PXL 2000. Yes. And you put in what looked like an audio cassette tape in there. Right. And it recorded just on that tape. Yep. I remember That's it. it. I remember it. I didn't so have one, but I remember I it. I had, me and my sister both got it for... Um, Christmas one year and so we both had them and this was like I gotta believe that I was I'm gonna say 12 how much is that going for because I have that box 300, 300. Right? I have that whole thing that whole setup brand new in the box mint like condition that. two of them yeah I, know, I when I was little I kept my toys in the box I have everything so my I toys in the box. <laughs> it's my toys in the, the box. box um, no, I would keep it pristine <laughs> when I wanted it. I'd take it out of the closet. I'd open the box. I'd take everything out. Always pristine. Anyway, I got that tape digitized. Now, I only had two of them. And I remember what was on it because I remembered what we did. Because once I taped it, 
to tape again, I had to tape over it. And I never wanted to tape over what I did because I got all the neighborhoods together and we filmed a rap video for, for Slick Rick's children's story, okay? And I knew, I knew all Tell the words. Tell me you have this. I have it. It came out in severely deterior, deteriorated quality, but the audio is still there on this transfer. And I totally forgot because I'm listening and like looking through like the, the like the snow, like the white noise, like stuff. And I'm like trying to remember anything. And I remember we we planned this whole thing. It was only one shot. We had no editing, sure. so we had that much tape, and we we planned it all. We ran it, and it was one continuous shot. And the the song is like a story, and so we acted out the story as we went around with the camera i was i remember i was singing i had bat do you remember those batman medallions when batman one came out like with like michael so, keaton no. and and, and they had remember. these like batman with these cheesy ass batman medallions because the batman t-shirt was like the bart simpson t-shirt that year oh that, it, yeah you, you okay yeah like neck medallions like uh, oh you put a little, a little you fake. put batman medallion oh, all right Kids like that. Okay. That. Well, oh, that the yellow one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that I've seen. So yeah. I'm wearing that, yeah. and we were rapping and everything. We go through, and I it was like a it was it was the Fourth of July weekend, and as I'm watching it and we're rapping and everything, I hear, and I hear ah, and people screaming and go put them out, put them out. I forgot that during that video, someone shot a bottle rocket, a bottle rocket at my friend Bays. And he, he was running, and it hit him in the back. His shirt caught on fire. He fell onto the floor. And literally, they ran and stomped it out. And he had a hole, a black hole in the back of his white Batman t-shirt. That big and happened right in the middle of the video. Why did they shoot a bottle rocket at <laughs> It was still like 4th of July. We used to do that. Like We used to like, put the bottle rockets in the end of pipes. Yeah. Like, and hold them and shoot them at each other. That's good. Yeah. yeah. We, was, uh, yeah we didn't do Saturday it. Well, well, after that, we didn't do it. What neighborhood was that? When Ro you... Rosebank. Rosebank. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, uh, dude, I totally forgot about it. Right. I remember we did the video, but I forgot, and I'm watching you it. You don't have video of that? You don't I, have any I, video I, of it's, that? It's so, I, I, it's so grainy, but the audio is there. Oh, you hear it. You yeah, hear it. I, you hear it. And I, 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 I'll, I'll, I'll bring it. And, yeah. and you hear like, and you hear like a pop, and you hear people screaming. See, you have so many things in your life that... Most people are like, oh, I wish I would have did that, but you actually did it. The diary, the video cameras of childhood. There's so many things. So almost got, all of us wish yeah. we did that. But I got none though. I mean, I, I don't have any video of me as a kid from but a the proper diary camera. Is huge. Yeah, but no, but that's only from nineteen. That's only from nineteen ninety seven. Yeah, but still, yeah, yeah, to be yeah. able to look back yeah. and see your thoughts from 1997 and be able to almost go back to that day is amazing. Yeah. I've tried. Yeah. I, but in all fairness, it was more like what I did as opposed to like diary entries. Yeah, but the one I, but isn't that, I feel like a diary is just writing yeah. down, it could be anything, whatever yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. I, I've been trying <laughs> to do a diary, but I, I, it doesn't work. Yeah, I, I just a journal. I, I journal. Would you, would you, when you would journal, would you do it at night or in the morning? Or just random? No, nah, no random. I know. Yeah. I try and just make sure I wrote every day what I did. At night, do you read a book at night? Or what? what's your nighttime routine? Do you watch TV? Do you have a TV in your room? Do you read a book? I do. I, I want to read, but because I'm always so tired and because I have terrible ADHD, I, it's hard for me to read. So as soon as you get, as soon as you get your head on the pillow... You're going to sleep. You don't have to have a routine to get you to sleep. I'm usually pretty tired enough, but I have a TV in the room. I'll fall asleep too for a little bit. But with reading, I my whole life I always read very slow, and I didn't retain a lot of information. And it would I would read so slow. It would take me like a couple of minutes to read a page because I was like reading it and it wasn't taking. And I would always have to read the same page again. Right. And like my Q, my buddy Q, he's like legitimately a speed reader. I don't know if you know what that is. Well, they can read like a, he, he can read a whole book in like an hour. He reads like a book in a day. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Or maybe like two days. Did he have to practice doing that? Did he teach himself to do that? I, That's a skill he, he was reads born with. A lot for his whole life. He reads a lot. He's always reading. Right. So he I, I saw him read. He just goes like he'll be like, this is the page. And this is the page. He'll go. Wow. And it'll turn the page. I'm like, and he read every word. Uh, yeah, and I have to be like, literally, like I have to. With my we should finger. give him a book quiz. Have you ever done that? Like, give him a book quiz on what he just read. No, I see. We because <laughs> he could just he could just be he could just be doing that in public. <laughs> he but he's really fast. not. No, but we have the only way. To, I would. I want to suggest get him on the next episode and we quiz him. <laughs> we give him that? a book quiz. We'll see. We'll, we'll do see it. He'll do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him we'll do it. See. I, I'll, I, he'll do that. He'll do that. But um, I realized uh, late in life, after the fact, it was my it, my ADHD doesn't allow me to focus enough to retain the information to read. And uh, so when I do read things, it's it really is a struggle. It takes a long time, actually. Yeah, yeah. I um I I for the first time 
in the last, I've been telling myself for years, start reading, Chris. You want to read. You want to be you a reader. You read all the time. No, but really the level, the, the, the way I'm doing it now is like reading at least 10 to 15 pages of a book a day every day. It's, That's what I should probably do. Yeah. I should probably say 10 pages and then I will read. Yes. I don't do that. That's what I do. I don't, that's what I should do. So, I have tons of books and I bring a book out with me for, with good, for good intentions every time I go away on the weekend. So and on I never planes open you read, if, if you just say like what I did, yeah. uh, take a sacrifice an hour of watching TV and kind of like earn your TV and read. Yeah. And then I, I, I keep a book by my bed stand, by my bedside at night. And then I read in the morning. And then at the very least, I'm like, at least you got 10, 20 pages yeah. a day. And then that carries over to like other things. Like now I'm writing more. Like now I was like all this time I would yeah. be like with, with our writing with like, you know, I would all, all, of course always write my stand up, but like writing scripts or sketches about my life. And all yeah. that. I'm like, I would always be like, I just need somebody who knows how to do that. But I'm like, wh why can't I do that? Yeah. I know how to do that. How do you uh, how do you write for stand up? Do you do it on? Do you actually sit down and write? Or do you do it on stage? I do you, no. I, do you put anything down so you remember it? I listen. So I'll listen back. What I typically try to do is I'll do a set and then I listen back to it almost immediately, either on the drive home or the next morning in the hotel or the flight home. And then I listen. And typically, if I'm listening and remembering, I'm like, okay, this bit I did exactly the same. I'll fast forward a little bit. And then the things that I did new or out of character, I write that down and I try to, and I'll say, sure, I'll write it down and I'll say, expand on that. But sometimes I'll say, expand on that joke. And that'll take me a year to finally expand. Right. On it, so I'll just not do it. So same, but the joke originally, <clears throat> like, you know what I mean? Like, ah, the premise of, yeah, like, yeah, I, I can't sit down in a coffee shop and just write. Yeah. Ideas never come to me that way. They're, it's always walking or driving. And then you just will work it out right then on stage. Yes. So you have the nugget of the premise. You'll riff yeah. on it a bit. Yeah. For better or worse, then you take it away and say, that worked, that worked. Right. You know, just keep Which I first originally thought, like, oh, this isn't, I don't have any actual talent. This is stupid. Like, anybody can do what I'm doing. This is, like, really dumb. Like, I'm not even... I'm no. not. I'm not honoring my craft. I'm not honing my craft. I'm not sitting down and writing like all the great comics must do. And then I listen to Bill Burr on a podcast say hit my process of that's exactly what he does, and he's arguably the greatest comedian right, of all right, time. Right, 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 right. And that's exactly <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like you know, it. You, we're always writing. If you're right. listening, yeah. And even Colin Quinn, who's like a legend at this, who's so prolific, he was like listening is writing too. If you're listening back, you're writing. Yeah. Or if you're if you're practicing out, you're writing. So writing doesn't always mean for a comic pen to the page. Yeah. For an author, it does. Right. But for a comic, you're yeah. performing it. Yeah. So, and it's it's yeah. also different yeah. to listen to your set to just if you have a tag or to listen to it. But then to, I start doing something now where I <laughs> listen to it and I sit down with a pen. Pa 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 paper and pen and i stop it like and i'm just right. like almost like i'm grading it or right like all that stuff and I do, but i never really do that that's really helpful yeah because you know you know a lot of times when you have a joke and you're like or something and you're like eh, it could be better yeah or like i, I could punch that up or there could be a better line here and you forget and then you get on stage and you're on stage and you say it again you're like oh, i don't like that i should change that right and it just keeps going, and you, and going. Yeah, and Dude, when you sit down and you finally just stop it and go i hate these two lines forever i know they like work i think they're cheap or whatever and then you just put it back in, and it's like it. it it's so so yeah. helpful to listen. And do well, it I think way. I think if you just control, like I tweeted on mushrooms, just controlling your output, just yeah. doing the work every day, then the outcome doesn't matter as much. So for me, that's why I'm like, if I'm listening, if I'm reading, even if it's even if you know you're my, absorbing, I'm just absorbing. So I'm doing what I have to do. I can't t I I can't control if the money comes in. I can't control if the people like it. I can't control all right, controls right. what I do. So I try, and that 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 helps me. And I was actually trying to do that this morning, just get out of my mm. stupid bad mood, but it didn't work. But I I have I have throughout the course of this episode, like I've went from literally to the point of maybe just being so mad where you're gonna cry, yeah, to to baseline normal everyday happiness. Well, we're glad we could do that for you here today. Came all the way around. Do you want to crowdsource some roof repair yes. money? Yes. Should we put up a GoFundMe? Yes, I would. Roof repair slash something, a funding for something deviant to do to the old lady behind you since she won't. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Let's you know put I mean. a bunch of tripping hazards in her driveway. Okay. We'll see what happens. That's it. All right. I don't know why she's so mad. Why, why are old ladies typically, why is it a stereotype that they're angry? Why are old people angry? Not all of them, but why do you, why do you always I think, think I get why a lot of them are. That she's a mean old lady. Yeah. What is it, do you think? But you also hear, she's such a sweet old lady. Right, that's true. You know, 
So she, so so I think she's. I think I understand when people when people are older, because if they've had if they if they've been like that if they had shitty lives and now it's just like it just like it just sucks. I think, Some people just fucking. I think legally the government should remove anyone who's over sixty five from a house and put them all in apartments. I think that you shouldn't have to make someone who's elderly who's who, elderly and old. Elderly. Why isn't elderly? It should be elderly. Yeah. I literally just stumbled into that. <laughs> why do why do you have to confuse like why do I have to confuse my kid and have elderly means old if it's elderly yeah. she would get it. Yeah, I don't get it. Um, Sixty five feels a little young to ship them out though. You could really shark sharp as attack till you're eighty five. Let's do seventy five. I just think they should not have <laughs> houses or cars. What about what if you okay, what if at seventy five you're you're just like you are now like Rules are rules. Get I out. think I'll go into Get an out. apartment yeah. that the government pays for where it's like a... It doesn't have to be like a disgusting old folks home, but it's just you have to have an apartment. You can't have more than 600 square feet to manage. Let's call it 1,000 square feet. Okay. You can't have more than 1,000 square feet to manage, and you can't have a yard or property. All right. Because then, because you can get angry at that younger people are just trying to do what's best for their family, and because you're scared and upset because you have so much property to manage, you take it out on me. It's not fair. It makes perfect sense. And you then I got to sell the house and move. Yeah, yeah we got to ship them out. Yeah. Maybe we start an online petition. See right. if, uh, you know, you never know. Right. Like a draft, like a, like not a young, like a, not a navy draft, right. but like an old people draft. Like you right. got draft. Like how old are you? And I am thirty nine. Maybe, maybe they get take a quiz, right? And then if they don't pass it. They're like, come on, get get out. Yeah, but I'm flat footed. Um, here we go. Let's see if you can get these right. This is uh, my daughter. I got home this morning, and uh, the family, you know, they were eating breakfast, uh, eating oatmeal, and then my my daughter, she goes, um, okay, daddy, she goes, what do you call oatmeal that has to go outside in the winter? Cold meal? Coat meal. Like okay. you put a coat on? I was like, okay, okay, I couldn't get that one. Okay. What do you call what do you call oatmeal? Coat, oat. That's not bad. What do you call Sorry. oatmeal? What do you call oatmeal that lives on a farm? Goat meal? Goat meal. <laughs> what do you call what do you call oat what do you call oatmeal? What do you call oatmeal? That, Your daughter's like Henny Youngman at the table. You yeah. Like, what do you call oatmeal that goes in the pool? Float meal. <laughs> nice. Is, I got it right? Float meal or she said she said I swear to God, my eight year old, she goes, float meal also would be accepted, boat meal. Because <laughs> <laughs> she said goes in the water. You should have it open for you now. What do you call here's the last one? This is a harder one. This is this is a more uh, this is a higher one and I was like impressed. Okay. I could get what do you call oatmeal that's in front of the castle? Moat meal. Moat meal. Whoa. And I like that one the best. Wow. Moat meal was a good one. That's funny. Yeah. That's good. Did you get them all or did you not get them? Um, I, I got stumped on goat meal. I just, okay. I, I was like, I was like, honey, I, I haven't slept. I can't do this right now. And then she was like, what is it? And then, you know, and then I was like thinking and, you know, Jasmine was like, oh, she's like, what is it? What animals on a, <laughs> what animals on a farm? And I was like, why am I doing this? The insurance adjuster's <laughs> coming. And then she was like, goat meal, goat meal. <laughs> And then I just stone faced. And then <laughs> you're not laughing at dude, all. Dude, and then it's I crickets. swear to God, Violet, Violet, mm. it, the two year old is like sitting there eating her oatmeal, and I was like stumped. And I said, then I like finally said oatmeal, and she went, "Oh my shit!" <laughs> 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 like, That's perfect great. timing. All right, baby. All right, look, well, we got through it. We you got through. Feel better? Got in a better mood. Hopefully, you guys got in a better mood. I'm sorry for being Chrissy Crabby in the beginning, but now, um, now things are better. It was a fun, lighthearted app. Fun, lighthearted app. Why the hell not? Sometimes you got to do that stuff. All right. This has been Hey Babe. Uh, uh, uh. Don't be a fake. Don't be a flake. Don't run away from your feelings, babe. Don't be afraid. Don't be ashamed. Don't hesitate to say Hey Babe.